for everything scary, I'm GM Haunts, and today, I'm going to be giving you a look at the Spirit Halloween 2021 Flagship Store Grand Opening Exclusive Swag Bags, and a look at the Halloween Factory Blueprint Posters. Before the video even starts, I know what you're thinking, I know what you're watching this video and thinking right now. I can read your mind, I know exactly what you're thinking. Where did Peekaboo Clown go? Now I know, if you're a long time viewer of mine, you know Peekaboo Clown has always been there. Always, since I've started doing this setup where you can see my backdrop, and now he's gone. Well, uh, if you've been paying attention recently, the flagship store, Spirit Halloween flagship, opened this past Saturday. Oh, just a couple days ago, um, and actually, if you if you watch my video, I was able to uh, very luckily purchase Mr. Howl, my favorite animatronic of the season. And in order to fit him in my room, I had to take Peekaboo Clown down. So now you are looking at the torso of Mr. Howl. You can't even see his full body because of how big he really is. So you can only see his torso. But yeah, unfortunately, Peekaboo Clown is gone for now, um, and Mr. Howl is up. So I guess get used to seeing him uh, in my videos. So today I wanted to just do a video showing um, some of the other things I got at Flagship Store on opening day. Now obviously I did a video on Mr. Howell unboxing him and setting him up. First one in the world, so you should definitely go check that out. But I also picked up some other things. Uh, a couple things that I bought myself and also some things that I got from Spirit. Um, the swag bags that we were promised if you were first 100 in line. Um, so I'm going to take a look at the brand new swag bags, what was in them exactly. Take a look at the packaging for them. Take a look at the Halloween Factory Blueprint posters which I bought straight from the ISE or the theme, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to take a look at those and also take a look at the lanyard they gave out to grand opening VIP members. So without further ado, let's take a look at the items. Alright, so the first thing I wanted to point out was a very small thing, but I have to say it was one of my favorite things that I was able to get at the opening day, and that is my spirit lanyard. So all of the people who went on opening day and were first 100, or actually it went past 100, uh, everyone, everyone who was there on opening day got one of these. Now basically the point of this lanyard was to keep track of where your spot was in line. Therefore, whatever time you got there, you got a lanyard with a number on it. As you can see, I got number 12, and then you didn't have to stand in the line because you had this, which proved that you had the spot that you did. Now, I really like this because it actually has a unique spirit lanyard, the same ones that were sent out in the VIP boxes earlier in the season. As you can see, it's got Jack on there. It says it's got the spirit logo. It's orange. Very, very nice quality, I have to say. And then the actual badge, again, had my number. It went up to, like, past 100. I think it went to, like, 200. They were up to, they were giving out. I got number 12. I was the 12th person in line at Flagship. It's got the logo at the top, too. And then on the other side, it says Grand Opening VIP. And it's got Jack on there. Um, Overall, I actually really like it. I think this is just, even though it's a small thing, really like it. The quality of it's nice, and I really love seeing Jack on the lanyard. The second thing, I have to grab it. It's a little bit on my floor here. Um, is the thing that we were promised in the press release, um, and a lot of people, there's still a lot of mystery around it, because people have been asking me what was in it, and did I end up getting one, and yes I did, and of course I am talking about the flagship store swag bags. So if you didn't know, the first 100 people in line to the flagship store uh, were promised a swag bag from Spirit. This was put out in a press release, I think like three or two days before the opening. Well, as you saw from my lanyard, I was number 12, which obviously means I was first 100, so I did get a swag bag. So let's take a look at them. First of all, the packaging. So as you can see, it is kind of like a shopping bag kind of material. It's got the Spirit logo on it with Jack. It says Spirit. The other side is exactly the same. It's got some orange uh, holders to it. It's like a plastic material, which is really cool. And then the, oh, actually, first I'll point out the, out, the side of it has Jack's face which I think is really, really cool. Again, it's kind of shiny and plastic. Really, really like that. Now let's take a look at the inside of it and the things that everyone wanted to see. So, interestingly enough, 
the inside of the swag bag actually featured the same things that were sent out in the mystery VIP boxes to VIP Unhuman Resources members earlier in the season. As you can see, it's got the popcorn container, um, which is really, really cool. It's got Jack's face on the front. The side of it has some orange stripes, and then the back says Spirit. Again, if you saw the videos earlier this season, you're used to this because this is what was sent out. In the box, you have the notorious Full Moon Treats, which again were featured in the VIP box. They have Mr. Howell on it, which again, I have him in the background. The side of it, some blueprints. I'm not going to open them now because I actually want to keep them in good condition. So I'm not going to eat them, but it's some uh, Bloody Bones candy full moon treats, which is very, very cool. Next up, you got the Spirit Popcorn that we saw in the box. Really, really nice. It's just microwave popcorn, but special packaging to it. You've got Jack on it. It's orange. you got popcorn with the Spirit font. Um, and then the back of it has the Spirit logo on it. Again, it's just microwave popcorn, but I really, really like the packaging. I think it's really unique, and I like that they went out of their way to do that. Next thing was probably my favorite thing that was in the VIP boxes, and now I have it in hand because I got a swag bag, and that is the enamel pins. So they did end up giving out more of the enamel pins. As you can see, Uncle Charlie's bucket, Jack the Reaper's head, and, uh, and Wacky Mole's hammer, which was a hint to him returning because he did. Um, and it says limited edition enamel pins. So these were also featured in there. Uh, again, I'll take another look. Um cool it's got the spirit logo on the back of it which is nice this next thing supposedly i heard this actually was not in the boxes um this wasn't in the vip boxes and supposedly this wasn't in some people's swag bags but i ended up getting one this is a boo hollow um vinyl figure um it's sort of strange but it's really cool it's a little halloween figure as you can see boo hollow and then you have like it's like a, a blind bag sort of thing you got a whole bunch of different halloween characters in it um so, honestly, that's really interesting. I like that. Then, the other things. I think there's more than one in this thing. Oh, there is. Okay. Two stickers. Let me get them out. You have uh, one logo sticker, as you can see. And then the other one is just Jack's head, which is really cool. And then the final thing that was in the swag bag was the gummy brains. That's right. The gummy brains that were also in the VIP box are in... Uh, or in this uh, the swag bag, as you can see, a gummy brain to the spirit logo. It says unhuman resources, um, and it's really cool. Got the gummy brains in there, which is nice. And that concludes that is everything that is in the swag bag, or I should really say the popcorn container, because all of it was stored in the popcorn container, which was in the bag. However, there was one last item that was not featured in the popcorn container because it was too big and it wasn't featured in the vip boxes and this is a poster so yes this is very very cool um and I'll, i'm going to show you what the poster is so actually i i believed when i first got this at the store that this was just a poster of the logo because you can see there's a sticker on it and i oh since i got it i thought this was just a poster of the spirit halloween logo well I was incorrect, and I have to say, I'm a bigger fan of what it actually is than the logo. So, let's take a look at the super secret and mysterious poster. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so here it is. Now, before I show it to you, I have to say, uh, you probably remember that earlier in the season, Spirit direct messaged some Instagram posters to some people uh, featuring Mr. Howell on it, and it said, we are coming for you. I did a video breakdown of it, and it had some hints to animatronics and some names of employees such as Killer Kroll, who is Mike Kroll, the designer of the themes, uh, at the bottom of the poster. Well, the poster that was featured in the in the swag bag was that poster. So that is right. They actually made a real version of the "We Are Coming for You" poster. As you can see, Mr. Howell on it. We are coming for you. It's very, very shiny. It's very, very cool. Spearhalloween.com/slash/the-graveyard-shift, and then the bottom of it features. Um, all of the names that were on the actual one. So, honestly, it's really, really cool to see that they actually brought the digital poster to life and gave it out as a real thing, um, which actually, it is pretty big. I'll show you right now. Uh, it, it is a pretty big poster. Basically, my entire arm, as you can see, I can't even hold, show the whole thing in the frame. So, honestly, that's super cool. I love seeing that in the box because I thought it was just the logo, which honestly still would have been cool, but I was actually, I thought it was even cooler to see that it was actually the poster that they sent out, and overall, really big fan of that. Now let's take a look at the Halloween Factory Blueprints. 
So these Halloween Factory blueprints, I actually did have to purchase myself. These were not things that were featured in the swag bags. These are sellable items that will be at all locations. So the back ISC for this year, the back theme, the factory floor, has a bunch of animatronic blueprints in them. Some of the ones that we saw in the graveyard chip teaser, the clock, uh, and then they're actually on the walls. Well, people were very much surprised, including myself, to find that in the store, you were actually able to pull these all these posters out of a box. It was in like a crate, and you could actually buy them. So it was listed on the price sheet, and you could buy them. They are $4.99 each, and they will be at every single location. And they are actually the blueprints, and a little bit more, uh, ones that we didn't see, some of the old ones and some new ones that were featured in the teaser. So I'll probably film some cinematics so you can see them up close, but I'll show you one in my hand right here. As you can see, these are some animatronic blueprints. Uh, this is the Crouchy one. There are four different ones. Uh, this is the Crouchy model here. As you can see, it has a, a, it looks like very much like a blueprint. Crouchy's drawing of his head. It says figure B, figure C, and figure A. At the bottom of it, you have another picture of his head. Uh, I'm sorry, the little camera angle. Oh, then you can see... The Halloween Factory logo on it. It says confidential for Halloween Factory's employee, uh, factory employees only. And I think that's really cool. There's a lot of detail in them. And again, they do really look like blueprints. Now, like I said, there are four different versions of these blueprints. There is a Crouchy one, a Cerberus one, a Henry Hustle one, and a Mr. Howell one. That is it. Those are the only ones they're releasing for this season. And again, they are selling for $4.99 each from the display. Now, uh, as opposed to all of the theme pieces... From the rest of the thing, you can actually buy these anytime you want, not only after Halloween. They're selling them right away just as if they were like costumes. You can just pull them out of the bin and buy them for $4.99 each. And I did end up buying all of them. I bought all different, all of the four. Um, so I do have all of them. I'll probably, like I said, I'll film some videos and show them as I'm talking here. So you can take a closer look at them. Overall, they're actually really detailed. I love the detail in them. They have some big size to them. They actually take up a decent amount of space on the wall. Don't really know where I'm going to put them right now. I, I just, I needed to buy them because I love how they look so much. And I really wanted to have a piece that was like a factory related idea. So I really like them. And I think they're a really cool idea to see Spirit selling stuff that goes under the, the, uh, the idea of the Halloween factory. So I really liked seeing them and I had to buy them. So I just put them in my cart with Mr. Howell and did end up purchasing them. Purchasing them. Um, and again, for $4.99 each, I honestly think it's a really good price. Now, they are just rolled up paper, printed paper. But honestly, I think it's a good price for them. Because they are cool. They, they will become rare and they will be collectible items. Because they are Halloween factory related. And overall, they're really cool. I love that you can have drawings of the animatronics on it. And overall, I think they're really, really cool. Um, and I really enjoyed buying all this stuff. The flagship. I got the swag bag for free. If you were first hundred, you just got them for free. But I did have to purchase the posters. But honestly, really think they were worth it. The last thing I'll show you on them is, as you can see, uh, confidential for Halloween factories employees only. Uh, and then you can see the Halloween factory logo on the other side, which is really cool. Uh, and the name of the animatronic is written on the corner. So as you can see, this one is Cerberus. It says Cerberus, and the drawings are in there. And they, they actually come rolled up like this in the crate, so you can just take them. They have a rubber band on them, which is really nice. And overall, really, really like seeing them, and that was an awesome purchase. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to about my video, taking a look at and showing to you my Halloween Factory blueprints and my uh, Spirit Halloween 2021 flagship store swag bag. So let's cut to the outro. So that's going to about my video, taking a look at and showing you my purchases for the 2021 season, which are my Halloween Factory blueprints and then the opening day swag bag. Overall, I think I did really good this season for flagship. I got Mr. Howl, which was the number one thing I wanted to get. I got all four, uh, all four blueprint posters and was lucky enough to be first 100 to get that swag bag. I think Spirit was doing great this year in giving out the swag bags. I think there were really cool items in there. I really liked getting all that stuff from the VIP box because I wanted to get the box, but I didn't actually get it. So I ended up getting all the items anyway in the, the swag bag, which I think is really cool. And I really love that We Are Coming For You poster. Ladies and gentlemen, remember as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunt. I see you guys later for more Spirit Halloween 2021 videos. Goodbye.